Hi, I'm Ashikul Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome to my channel where I upload accounting tutorials weekly. Today in this video, I will show you how to calculate capital. Let's get started. Okay, here look at the question. So we have here two requirements. First one is working capital. Second one is capital. In my previous video, already I explained how to calculate working capital if you did not watch that i'll recommend you to watch it so for you i'll put the link in the i button you watch it then come back here okay now have a look at the question on this screen wall student shimran's statement of financial position was prepared on 31st january 2017 it showed the following assets and liabilities so statement of financial position means the balance sheet okay so balance sheet is already prepared from the balance sheet these assets and liabilities were taken okay so from these items we have to calculate now capital okay so you know there are two ways to calculate capital okay first way is if you add all the non-current assets to working capital we can calculate our capital okay second way is you know there is an accounting equation asset equal to capital plus liability so if you know our asset if you know our liability so we can easily calculate our capital okay so capital capital equal to here assets minus liabilities okay so first way is here capital equal to working capital plus non-current assets okay so here in this question already in the first video i showed how to calculate working capital and the value of working capital was 1100 90 dollars okay now we have to know our non-current assets okay so look at this item here which is here non-current asset yeah equipment is only one non-current asset in this question so there are so many non-current assets in the business okay but here in this question we have only equipment so what is the value of your equipment it is seven thousand two hundred dollars okay so now if we add these two values what we get it is eight thousand three hundred ninety dollars okay so very simple very easy to calculate and you have to know this formula here capital equal to working capital plus non-current asset and you need to know also how to calculate working capital okay so here first way second way how to calculate capital okay we know it's equal to capital this is accounting equation everyone should know this okay so here if we calculate our total assets if you can calculate our total liabilities we can figure out our capital okay so here capital is a question there is no capital okay but we know the assets so what are the assets here so here asset means all asset current asset non-current asset tangible assets intangible assets whatever asset you have you have to take all of them okay to calculate the capital okay so here we have assets which is equipment and we have inventory we have trade receivable we have here bank and cash okay now if you add this all five values what we get we get nine thousand seven hundred thirty dollars okay this is our total assets now we have to calculate our total liabilities yeah so here same thing current liabilities non-current liabilities whatever if you think that it is your liability you have to take it you have to add add it okay so here we have two liabilities number one is trade payables it is 820 uh, 30 sorry number two is other payables 510 dollars okay there there is no more liability here in this question okay so if we add these two values here we get 1340 dollars okay so see here we we calculated our calculated our total assets and the liabilities 
now we have to calculate our capital okay so how to calculate capital so if we subtract this value from this total asset we can calculate the capital yeah so let us write here capital equal to capital equal to assets minus liabilities okay so here our asset we calculated nine thousand seven hundred thirty dollars okay we calculated our liability which is thirteen hundred forty dollars okay so now if we subtract this fellow from here what we get we get same eight thousand three hundred ninety dollars okay so this is very simple calculation so whatever you know you can use this formula to calculate the capital or you can use this formula accounting equation to calculate the formula but here if you want to use this you need to know how to calculate working capital okay so here if you use this formula you have to add all the assets so there is no classification of assets and liabilities here okay you have to add up all assets all liabilities okay so here have you noticed with the bank 180 dollar the debit the word debit is written what does it mean it means that it is an asset it is a current asset actually so current asset so if it is student credit then what to do then it is a current liability means it is a bank overdraft okay so now you are thinking debit and credit nothing is written so in this case you will consider this amount this item as a current asset okay very simple to understand so please remember these tips and tricks okay to calculate this capital okay so this is all about our today's topic today's lesson i hope you enjoyed this lesson you understood how to calculate capital and i'll request you to subscribe to my channel because you find there so many video video lessons only for you next time what you want to see let me know comment below and if you think this video is helpful for you please share with your friends i'll see you soon with new video until then bye bye and take care